Hey, thanks for being a part of the conversation. This is Forest Stories. I am the poet in the forest, a children's series that I pinned out in the 1990s. Now, none of it would be possible if it wasn't for this forest right here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. I talk about it so much that I thought maybe it's time that you get to know what has inspired me for 30 years. Thanks for being a part of the conversation. We've spent the first few chapters talking about the little human things that happen inside this forest, from the statues to the piece of the former county courthouse in Mecklenburg County, to the trees, Larry Tree, the headless statues. We've talked so much about that. But the one thing that a lot of people don't understand is the spiritual connection to this collection of trees. The birds, the birds are so important to the story. We'll talk about the hawks and the owls. And the reason why we'll talk about them is because they don't leave my side. They're there with me early in the morning. They're there with me late at night. Especially the fun-loving hawk with the way that it loves to be three or four feet from me just screeching away like it's preaching the word, telling me what the real story is behind the spirit of this forest. The two owls joined me out on the deck the night that we lost my Chinese crested Sammy. I was so distraught that I just needed to be with the forest, so I raced outside to the deck 23 feet above the forest floor. And right there, on one limb, there were two owls. And the owls looked at me. They didn't have to say anything. Their eyes as bright as the sunshine, and yet it was late at night. They talked to me in a way of saying, We got you. We got you. What you're going through, a lot of people do but they don't turn and look at the natural world and the spirit of it. But we're here with you. This morning, while Jazzy and I were taking a walk through the forest, and we do that every day, we were in the forest, and two heron, heron, usually see them lakeside, two heron in the sky dove down at us. Did I run? Did I hide? Was I in fear? No. No, because I was there to receive. So I go back in and I study what these animals mean through animal speak and animal spirituality. Where are they at on the totem? And you learn about how important the heron is, how you are to take an opportunity and learn from it. You may not agree with the opportunity, but you learn from the opportunity. So these animals, these these birds that fly in the sky high above this beautiful forest in South Charlotte, they're constantly sharing their word. And in doing so, you pick up your own heart and you begin to walk in a way that says, I am embracing this moment of now. And it's thanks to these birds. How about the wren? I think that's what it is. A wren has joined us on the front porch that overlooks this beautiful forest. I thought it was an owl at first, but it's not growing. And then I thought, maybe it's a bat that visits us every single night. It sleeps on this porch every night, but it doesn't sleep upside down. So the more and more I dug, the more and more I was educating myself, thanks to this forest and the spirituality about it, it has to be a wren. Its personality is a wren. And what it means to the mind, body, and soul is a journey of being aware and being present in your place of now. The wren doesn't travel too far. It stays in areas where it knows it can help protect and it will protect itself. The birds of this beautiful forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey, thanks for being a part of the conversation.